What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video and today we'll, we will be um, doing a tutorial on how to make the like the crater area in chapter 2 season 5 and like the zero plan and all that. And in this tutorial, like you just gotta follow like what I'm doing on the screen because I'm just doing my voice over right now. And uh, basically you just gotta put the sand in like a circular type of motion, like a circular type formation, right? And then you like, so after you do this, you kind of like just gotta uh, just put crystals down, like, and like there's a certain way to do it because in chapter two, season five, they don't just have it spread out randomly. You gotta do it uh, in a specific order for it to look exactly like how it does in chapter two, season uh, five. In in chapter two, season five, they had this thing in the bottom of the crater where it was like purple. -ish. And I'll be showing how to do that in this, like, clip, like, in this, like little, little bit. Because, um, basically, we gotta, like, it takes a second because, literally, like, we don't have the right props and stuff for this. I mean, technically we do, but, like, the sand isn't perfect, you know. And we don't have the same tools that the developers have inside of Fortnite. Because the developers just gotta, like, click, like, practically just gotta drag their mouse over an area. And they can easily make a, like a river and like a road and stuff. So take you gotta take this crystal, right? And when, after you take the crystal, you gotta like put it like on like you can see the crack right there. Like put it on the crack, cause like basically it kind of makes it feel like a giant explosion happened, right? And like crystals came out of the ground, like it basically spread out kind of like evenly, I guess you could say. And make sure you resize the crystals so it doesn't look like the crystals are just in one little small area. Because if it's only in one small little area, it won't really look that good. But, you know, it still look decent if you do it correctly. And, yeah. So, from this point on, what I would do, I would, like, grab the crystals, right? And I would start resizing them and put them along the edges of the desert dune type area thingy because it, that's just how it make it, that's just how that's just how it looks good you know you gotta make it look like a huge crater because that's how it was in chapter two season five basically a pretty big crater in the center of the map with the zero point and i'll be showing you how to make the zero point later in this um clip but yeah so you put the crystal down you gotta make sure you resize it first make it pretty big so it can actually look like the, like the crystals are like, you know. Do you know how the spire exploded? Like there's spire shards everywhere? It's kind of like that. Like you're making shards around the crater, you know. Make it look pretty cool. In the background, that other thing right there is just a previous build, but the recording got corrupted. And it would have been a longer video, so I just, why not just redo it real quick. And yeah, keep resizing these crystals to make it look like... It's like it's expanding, you know. Like the crystals are getting bigger the farther out you go, and it looks also really good. So, yeah. But yeah. Um. After this part, I'll be showing you how to make the uh, weird purple pool thing at the bottom of the lake thing, or whatever it's called. And um, basically, you see this? That's how the crater usually looks in Chapter Two, Season Five. It's like a huge crater with like crystal shards everywhere. And what you do is that like, you bring the height down, like, si like make the depth really, really big, and like make the width like really big, so that it looks like it's just like a little purple, like kind of like pool thing. Because basically, in chapter two, season five, they had this like pool in the bottom of the uh, like the, the weird crater thing. I'm not sure what it's called. And uh, basically. Yeah, this this that's practically all I have to do. It's really easy to make. It's re it's really quick. It doesn't take a long time to do, and it's perfect for like, cause like you know some people have like zero point maps and all that. It's perfect for like if you want like a crater or like a zero point center area. I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't copy like the exact same center that Fortnite has. Like add your twist to it, or else you'll kind of see like unoriginal. You know? So. I, if I was if I was watching this tutorial, I'll put a little twist on it. But yeah, basically you grab this ring, resize it a little bit, and just make a circle of it. I personally like to make it wider a bit, so you don't have to like paste out a ton of it. Because basically, without resizing it, you have to paste like a hundred of those, a hundred plus actually. Because basically, 
these rings are really thin and that's why we're resizing them and basically you grab another ring and had a little zero point effect on the edges you grab a purple ring and a blue ring you, you resize the purple ring to be smaller or bigger depends what you want and basically you like put it in like this weird like curve shape as you can see in the video right now as this is just how i do it personally and um basically it looks really good in the end and it's really easy to do rather than like pasting down like a random objective device how to do all that other stuff so i personally enjoy making custom zero point things more than a like a device one because you can't really have effects on an objective device if it's your zero point so yeah and um, as you can see you want to have like a wider one kind of like a zero point has like a wider one instead of like a skinny one you can do that exact same thing and make it wider and smaller and basically you see how i'm doing it here in this clip this is how i usually do the zero point thing if i have it in my map at some point and um but in my map i use a different orb which i'll probably have a future tutorial on like how to make it a stabilized zero point which will be upcoming in the future and there's gonna be an io based tutorial and how to make an event tutorial soon and i really appreciate my friend maliki for getting me into tutorials like he kind of motivated me to make tutorials and go check him out his name is nova j on youtube and yeah, he's a really chill guy. He's very close to 700 subscribers. Maybe he's even 700 subscribers at the time of me making this video. And I want you guys to go check him out. Go give him a follower. Fo not follower. Like follow, like, I don't really care. Just go support the guy. Really chill dude. He deserves it. Like, honestly, he's so underrated. And um, he, make, he makes a lot of big YouTubers like Dreamscape and all that. He makes extremely good battery maps and all that. So yeah, this is the zero point in the center what i would do i would grab a, I'll grab a teleporter resize it really big and then make it invisible so you can see the like the little rift effects kind of like how they had in season five with like the zero point was like kind of like, like rift effects like rift shattered glass effects i'm not sure what's called but yeah i like this effect i use it in a lot of my maps and um basically yeah it's really simple and season five the season four event comes out uh, like in two days as I'm recording now uh, I'm still working on the event the event is going to be a really big event but it's going to be better than season 2 in my opinion and uh, yeah make sure to like and subscribe and yeah see ya